Hi, today we're looking at photographing long tail tits. It's an absolute mud bath that's been raining and raining and uh, everywhere is absolutely saturated. But we're gonna have a go. With a bit of luck, it's gonna snow later today. Now, snow is quite unusual in the Midlands these days, but for it to snow during the day is even rarer. Um, yesterday we woke up and there was already snow on the floor, but it melted pretty quickly. But today it's forecast for about midday, we're gonna get a, a sprinkling of snow. So you've gotta be prepared for that. You've gotta be organized and make use of the opportunity. So I always know where I can go and collect some red berries like this. They're in local supermarket car parks, industrial estates, and over the years you make a note of where there are red berries around so you can go and collect a sprig when you want it. So we're using the Wimbley plump, which is a wonderful device for holding twigs like this in, into place. It won't hold very heavy branches. It's quite a, this is really on its limit. So I, I'm suspending the far end on a, a bit of a platform here just to hold it up, otherwise it will be just too springy. And I've deliberately left some places here where the birds can land, so I've taken some of the berries off. I need to turn that round a little bit. Um, but when that is covered in a dusting of snow, I think it's going to look very, very attractive. I have seen some of these devices that are very heavy duty. When I was in New Mexico, there was a photographer there who had got some very, very heavy ones which would support branches not just twigs and I was tempted to buy a couple off them he, he was he was selling them but um, wasn't the cost I could afford them it was getting them home they were so heavy in your suitcase when you're flying but they would be useful now there's two things you can do to encourage long tail tits to come into your feeding station the first one is peanut butter they love peanut butter as do the other birds as well and you just stick this into the bit of silver birch we've got here. I don't want the birds landing on the silver birch. I want them landing on the berries. But uh, hopefully they're gonna land here before they hop across. Now, the birds might like peanut butter, but I can't stand the stuff. And if I was to accidentally eat this, which happens occasionally, you take a biscuit and it's full of peanut butter and you didn't know about it, within 30 seconds, I would be very violently vomiting. I'm quite allergic to this, and I even I don't like the smell of it on my fingers. That's bad enough. It makes me feel a bit queasy. But the birds like it. And the other thing you can do is you put your peanuts out with your peanut feeder, but you crush the peanuts up first. Long-tailed tits are quite weak little birds, and they find it much easier if the peanuts are already broken up for them. And you'll get long-tailed tits coming in in far greater numbers if you've crushed the peanuts up and put those inside the basket. So that's it. I'm all set up. Hopefully the birds are going to come and land on here, and the snow's going to be coming pouring down. and be a lovely snow covering over these berries. That's what I'm hoping for. Long-tailed tits are very fast-moving. Well, all of the tits are, but long-tailed tits particularly. They don't tend to stay and pose very long, and they've got that awkward long tail. So what I tend to do when I'm, I'm doing this subject is I switch the sleep mode off on my camera. Normally, I'd have the camera set so it goes into sleep mode after one minute, but for this subject, I want the camera ready all the time because once that bird lands, I've got a split second to take its photograph. So I have the sleep mode off, the camera's always active. That means the battery drains quite quickly, but you've still got with two batteries in the M1X Olympus camera body, it will still last at least four hours with the two batteries that are built in, and then I've got spare batteries. But this is one of those occasions where you need that camera ready to take a picture instantly. That's one of the disadvantages of mirrorless cameras. When you was using the, the Canon cameras with the optical viewfinder, they were ready all the time. You just touch the button, you were taking pictures. Right, we're ready to go. I'm gonna get in the high just behind the camera and see how we go. So inside the hide, and I want to turn the sleep mode off. 
so I have to come down to the cogwheel and then down to is it J2 this is on the Olympus M1X obviously different on everybody's camera yes it's under J2 sleep mode it's currently set to one minute turn it off so your camera is live and ready to go as soon as a bird lands well the first visitor was a brown rat I get a lot of these around the feeding station when there's free food but they certainly always become showy when there's a little bit of snow about you might not see them the rest of the time but as soon as there's snow on the floor you see the rats coming out it's not just the long tailed tits that like the peanut butter all of them do including the great spotted woodpecker look at that red underneath the, the belly don't always notice how bright that red is blue tits and the snow is starting to come down now and getting heavier and heavier but will it last will it settle cold tits these are all in half speed slow motion and here's the long tail tits that long tail makes them awkward it's not always in a good position for photography so now we'll look at some of the stills pictures that I took with the snow coming down it did settle so we had a little bit of snow on top of the the berries but it didn't stay long enough shutter speeds here would be about one four hundredth of a second one three twentieth of a second so here it settled a little bit for the blue tits but when it was like this unfortunately the long tail tits didn't come back and it didn't last very long it settled and then very quickly a bit of rain came along and melted it off so these are some pictures I taken on previous years with the holly berries this time and all sorts of perches always looking out for attractive perches you can put the birds on a bit of rusty barbed wire that always looks very graphic and more on the berries I've always liked bramble as a perch it's got character to it these pictures are taken on a mixture of cameras some of my older pictures with the Canon system and more recently with the Olympus system I now use the bird tracking all the time I find it very useful but far from perfect but it does help to put that focusing point on the eye automatically I do prefer it when there's a lot of branches rather than just a single one and doing them in the blossom in the spring and I'll just finish off with a, a flight shot that I took a few years ago not an easy bird to do in flight long tail tits thanks for watching